Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tweets. I will show you how I connected my external SSD in my Mac Mini M4. You can see here it's my Mac Mini M4 and I have many cables connected and it's my external SSD. So I have around 500 GB here. So here I have around one terabyte SSD here. Both are connected in my PC. If I show you on my PC, you can see I have uh, this drive files and this drive contains one terabyte which is actually this SSD and it's not using uh, as the external drive it's now being used as the uh, internal drive of SSD uh, not XFAT okay so let me show you how I did this first of all it's a cable that comes with the um, uh, enclosure you can see it's the enclosure which is U green enclosure you can see here here it says U green enclosure and let me show you how I connected the SSD and you can see it's the M2 or you can say say NVMe SSD which is in the inside the enclosure and it's the enclosure so you have to buy this SSD and also that enclosure so if you buy this uh, SSD and enclosure then you can use this catching to uh, cover it up and I have covered it already and it's now connected uh, as my Thunderbolt port in my Mac. So when you buy this uh, SSD and enclosure then you are done you have to connect it and then in PC you need to format the drive using the APFS format you can see if I show you the get info let me show you you can see the format is APFS can you see the format is APFS that means that means it's and it's using as an internal drive and it's not an external drive like pen drive so it's not like pen drive I will use that SSD in as my internal drive so I have been using this drive for a long time and all everything is perfectly working and I have been I have been using this drive for like three to four months and everything is smooth like bread and butter i have no issues with this ssd and uh, enclosure at all so let me clear you it's my transcend ssd one terabyte you can use one terabyte or two terabyte whichever you want it's my enclosure which is called uh, u green enclosure for nvme ssd okay and uh, it's not it's not very hot there is a hot protector i i just added there it's not very necessary but I added there to reduce the heatness and this is how I you can use the external SSD in your PC if you still have any questions if you still have uh, confusions you can comment below I will I will I would love to answer your comments okay don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel tech tweets I will see you in another video thank you